Well, you know, after that, I'm feeling brilliant. How about you guys? <laughs> well, hi. I want to share a story with you about when life hands you lemons. In this story, it's about a little girl, a shy little girl who didn't really seem to fit in anywhere. She was a smart little girl who had a strong need to fix things. She was an idealistic dreamer who wanted to change the world. But wait, you know, this isn't a story about one girl. I think this is really a story about all of us. I think that we all get afraid sometimes. And I think sometimes we all feel small. And I think that we all want to make the world a better place. But we all have challenging situations. And things don't always go the way that we want them to. Let's face it, we all get lemons. But back to this particular little girl. She grew up and she met a guy that really needed to be fixed. <laughs> Aha, she thought. I shall fix him. And so she married him, because that's always a good idea. <laughs> she had a beautiful little girl, and she had a beautiful little boy. But her beautiful little boy was born with spina bifida. And he had to have many brain and spinal surgeries before he was only two years old. The doctors told her that he would never walk, and that he would have a hard and challenging life. What did they know, she thought. <laughs> I will find a way to fix his spine and nerves. And so she searched and she researched, but nothing she found could fix his physical challenges. Meanwhile, her unfixable husband wouldn't help with any of his care. That's how that goes. <laughs> her family lived far, far away across the other side of the country on an island off of Seattle. Who knew? <laughs> the bills piled high and Life was becoming really unbearable for her. She was exhausted. But just about the time when the lemons were about to crush down on her, see, there they are. They crushed me. <laughs> when they were about to squeeze the life out of her, she squeezed back. She joined a karate class to get out her anger and her frustration. And oh, it was good. <laughs> By going to karate class, they taught her that when bad things come at you, that you could block them, that you could redirect them. Ooh, we'll go slide in there. Or you can accept them. This is so easy, the girl. Why didn't I think of this before? And so she kept going. And she got stronger. And she got happier. And she learned that she did fit in someplace. And that though she couldn't fix everything, she could make things better. She had started to learn how to make lemonade. So she divorced the unfixable husband. <laughs> After 17 years, she realized that some lemons are just too sour. <laughs> she raised her children to be self-reliant and loving. And she began to teach karate herself. She learned she wasn't the only one with lemon situations. And that by teaching integrity, self-control, compassion, and gratitude, that there might be fewer unfixable lemon people and situations in the future. <laughs> but it's not enough just to make lemonade. It's even more important to share it for yourself and for others. You share it, and then you teach them how to make their own lemonade so they can share it too. Through teaching karate, I've learned that you can make tons of different things besides lemonade. You can make lemon chicken. You can make lemon sorbet. You can even make lemon cookies. So you know, in closing here, I just have to wonder, what will you make? Thank you.